Hey, what's up, everybody? It's August 16th, 2022 in Big Bear Lake, and we are getting some, some good storms right now. Some really good thunderstorms. So, I wish I could roll down the window so you could hear all the thunder, because there's a lot of thunder right now. A lot of thunder in my very, very frightening me. How is everyone today though? I hope you all are doing well. I'm really tired today. I don't know why, but oh my gosh, like we are just inundated right now with a lot of stormage. We're gonna head into Moon Ridge. Kind of a odd way. It's gonna take us through this, this little detour right here, but it'll be cool. Anyway, just Wow, this is so great, you guys. Our lake is so, it's just becoming so happy because of this. But I don't have any information on on the lake level or how much all this rain the past month and a half has impacted us. Because um, visually, I can't, I can't tell. I can't, I don't notice any, any difference. Oh. Of thunder, so I'm oh, look, you can see over here a little bit of blue sky at the end of this storm right there. But some of the thunder is super loud, so it's gotta be super close. Really close to us. this street called Lassen up here and then kind of get the view of, of, of the valley because then we'll be able to see some storms and it'll be pretty good. So we're leaving Bear Mountain. Bye Bear Mountain parking lot. <coughs> Hello golf course parking lot. But yeah there's Bear Mountain right there. Kind of. No oh, there it is. Yeah, we're gonna go up here to the top. 
and hopefully get some good views of the whole valley and see some see some lightning. I think that'd be pretty cool. Here is Lassen right here. I remember the street named Lassen because my grandma and grandpa used to live on Lassen in Irvine. Looks like Big Bear Lakeside is way more inundated than, than Big Bear City. We might have to go go that direction. You know what? We're, we're going to go over by Snow Summit. We're going to take the back roads by Snow Summit. Because those, it looks like it's heavier the closer you get to the mountains, just like right here. But over there, it looks a lot heavier, so we're going to head over there. I know you guys can't see it too well, but I'm doing the best I can with all this rain. You guys, this is awesome. This is this is your Southern California vacation spot. It's gonna be so beautiful. My only concern with all of this is uh, how everything's gonna look and how fresh and just how fresh all, all the foliage will be and just how thick it's gonna be by next spring. And uh, that, that just worries me a bit because you guys know we're, we're in a very fire prone area. So yeah, all of this rain is super wonderful for us and we need it tremendously. The lake needs it. I know a lot of you are super excited about how the lake is being impacted. It has to be, you guys. As I said, I haven't seen anything with my own eyes. I haven't noticed anything, but that doesn't mean squat. It really doesn't. So we're gonna head back over this direction. Go back through Moon Ridge. But we are going to take a side street called uh, Switzerland, which runs right right along the mountainside towards Snow Summit. There's Bear Mountain again. There's the golf course over here. These poor golfers, I feel so bad. They're just all getting so screwed just like every day. And yes, I know we, we need new windshield wipers. I keep on forgetting. You can see these skipping. head back into the heavier stuff. As I said, you can see over in the Big Bear Lake side, it looked like it was much thicker. So that's why we're headed over there real quick, just to see, see what we can do, see what we can capture for y'all. know we could get snow within like two months right that's very possible <clears throat> I'm kind of shocked how fast our snow season's coming back but thankfully mother nature is keeping us busy doing this I'm super happy because I miss you guys during the summertime usually because I'm not able to do nearly as many videos but I know this is making a lot of you who love to come up here super happy and it makes me happy too So yeah, so this storm is moving across Big Bear Lake. You can tell because across Big Bear City, the blue skies are becoming more and more prominent. So it, it's definitely going this way. It's thicker out here. So we're just going to follow this. And we'll go to Snow Summit, and then that'll be it for this, for this run, depending on how heavy it is over there. It should be significantly heavier than it is right here, but you never know. Hello, the puddle. 
I love it about it. My, my old buddy Mark used to live right over here. Missed the guy a lot. No longer lives here. Right there. That's a bummer. He's really nice dude. I've, I've had to deal with a lot of people moving out of Big Bear, you guys, especially with the whole Airbnb thing happening up here. It's really screwed a lot of people over because owners are turning their homes into Airbnbs and people who have lived here their whole lives or many years are being impacted by it. They're being asked to move and there's no place to move in Big Bear. There's not. So it's uh, uh, there's a couple super expensive houses, like three, five thousand a month. Um, that's not that's not affordable up here for 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 most of us. So most of these people are moving down the mountain. It's very sad. So anyway, we're turning on Switzerland. We just were on Elm Street for a second, but now we're on Switzerland. Here's a, a Marine Corps uh, area up there. But anyway, this is one of the streets that I always point out that has such big, beautiful houses on it. I love it. I mean, just look at this like driveway right here. I mean, guys, look at this. And and, and this goes back to like some spe some big old mansion. It's just so gorgeous. Everything is so manicured perfectly in there. It's just so nice. Give me a sec. Oh, and I miss my wife right now so bad. She's working. That woman is so good to me. She's not feeling good at all. Closer to Snow Summit. It kind of looks like it's not clearing up, but the thickness of the storm seems to be dissipating a bit. Again, we're on a street called Switzerland. There's a lot of really beautiful homes on this street. So we are going to drive through the Snow Summit parking lot if we're allowed. I don't see why we wouldn't be. So it's not that heavy over here. Not that heavy over here. We'll, we'll drive to the parking lot anyway. But just see a little bit of snow summit. So we fit both our ski resorts. And this is where a lot of people like to go mountain biking this time of year, you guys. They take the lift up and go mountain biking. And speaking of taking the lift, I'm gonna make another video going up the lift on Wednesday, tomorrow actually, because a friend of mine who works the lift invited me to, to take a ride on the lift. So I thought, hey, I'll bring the wife and that'll be fun. But yeah, all the way to the top, all the way to the top. second right here I'm gonna stop the video just so I can check and see uh, where like what the radar is looking like and where all the storms are right now hang on okay you guys so it looks like some really heavy stuff right now is in the Big Bear City area <coughs> so I misjudged that didn't I <laughs> but we'll see once we get down close to Big Bear Boulevard we'll see what's going on not too far like a quarter mile from Big Bear Boulevard
Anytime we get something like that, it's, it's super, super nice. So I think we'll drive a bit into Big Bear City. but we're gonna be looking at the lake though too so so yeah the lightning is straight ahead right here like perfectly straight but we're gonna have to take a look at the lake so you guys can see what's going on. if you guys notice any difference in the lake level at all
like some really heavy stuff out here to the west and south. Actually, that's like, that's east and south, I'm sorry, southeast. You can't even hardly see Sugarloaf Mountain at all. This cuts across back down to, to Big Bear Boulevard. storm right there. That is massive over here. There's a lot happening over here. Come on, lightning. We're we're right on the butt of the airport, by the way. Oh, do you see that lightning? Right where I pointed you guys, that was pretty cool. It's ending over there, but it's thick as heck over here. We'll give it 10 more seconds and see if we can get Oh, we finally caught one like right where we were looking for it. You guys can hear all that thunder, can't you? We'll give another 10 seconds and then we'll keep driving.
Yes, it hit under the right. Clouds are so thick, it's like inner cloud lightning, and you can't really see much. You can just hear it. You can see some of the lightning bolts, but that's it. Okay, so we took we took Greenway across, but I got a phone call from, from my wife. So I took that call, obviously. Yeah, we're gonna just take this. Uh, this turns into Sugarloaf Boulevard, and we're gonna take this all the way to Division Road to get into Moonridge. See, Sugarloaf Boulevard right here. This is where Sugarloaf Boulevard ends, or begins, however you wanna look at it. street. Does that. You guys know I used to have like bad road rage and you guys have helped me to develop a much softer side when driving. 
and I really appreciate that because it takes a lot of stress away from me. That situation right there felt like winter time where like someone will stop in the middle of the street literally and, and put on their tire chains. I understand if you're scared, you really want to put them on to be safe, but you can't do it in the middle of the street because other cars, if they have to slam on their brakes, you're going to be in big trouble. But yeah, that's exactly what that reminded me of right there. That happens all the time up here. So when you guys come up in the winter time, never forget to be extra cautious driving because it's it does get scary. And so, as I said, I understand why people do that because they're petrified and they just really want to get, you know, some traction. So I understand, but just please try not to do that. It's so dangerous. Pull over if you can. Like really try to make an effort to, uh, to pull over so, so nothing happens to you. Farm Road now. like up here from down down the mountain. I bet it looks amazing with all these clouds up here. A lot of you do send me pictures and stuff like that, which I, I, I love it. I love it. I love seeing just how amazing it looks from down there.
right, guys. For right now, I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you enjoy the ride. Take care. Love you all a lot.